Alan from Bear Notch Ski Touring, who just is, he's interviewing me, asking me if I want to do some, <laughs> some spring skiing. And the, the short answer is yes, I am. Because oh, uh, there's, there's, you live through the winter so you can get to points like this, where you have deep bases and yeah. warming temperatures. And yeah. you can, I mean, we're going to get to a point where you can probably ski in shorts and a t-shirt oh, yeah. at Bear Notch. Yeah, well, spring skiing, which we really haven't had any exceptionally good spring skiing for the last few years. It's melted down relatively quickly. But the snow belt up there this year, our snow base is at least 36 inches deep still. Yep. So we're lining up for some of the best spring skiing. And people that haven't gone out there and got to enjoy it, it's the ambiance of spring skiing is unbelievable. Right. The birds are tweeting, the streams are opening up, so you're starting to hear the water mm. run, and you've got, I mean, wildlife is coming out. Yeah. It's absolutely, it's a whole different experience than when it's time skiing. And if you, if you play it right and you have the time, you can actually get two types of skiing in in one day. You can start in the morning, get your pack powder and your loose granular skiing, which is really close to a wintertime condition. Yep. And then you can come back in the afternoon in your shorts and short sleeve <laughs> shirt and go out to the picnic tables. I mean, it is just, it's, it's just a, the ambiance is unbelievable. And I can get a suntan. Yes. I'm, I'm already looking forward to that. Now, how long will you guys stay open for? Ah, we're looking at probably two to three weeks. Mother Nature will play the biggest part in that. But yep. right now, it looks like it would take an awful huge weather event to melt down our base. And our western network there, once the snow gets locked in, uh, it, it stays in there for a really long time. So I'm, I'm guessing at least two more weeks. Right. Easy. We're, we're speaking with Doug Garland from Bear Notch Ski Touring in Bartlett, New Hampshire. Just, uh, is it three, four miles west of Atatash? 3.7 miles west of Atatash. And you know, it's springtime now, we're starting to sell off our used, new and used equipment. And mm -hmm. most of our used equipment is slightly used, but it's at great prices because it is used. Yep. And uh, we're doing next year's season passes. You can ski for the next couple weeks, however long we're open, on next year's pass and ski all the next season also. Okay, and you guys have great family-friendly pricing. Kids 16 and under are free with a paid adult? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, 16 and under, we're trying to get kids into the sport, you know, and, and families, the economy's still not that, all that perfect, so it's nice to make it affordable. This way, it's very affordable for families. Yeah, my kids absolutely love cross-country skiing. My six-year-old has really taken to it. There's nothing like, you know, you put on a pair of skis and you just put them in a pair of tracks and you say, go. There's something, there's something in me, never mind a, a kid, that just wants to to find out where do these tracks go. Let's oh, just yeah. follow them until they can't be followed anymore. Eventually, you just follow them all the way back to the base lodge where you have <laughs> some hot soup. You guys still making hot soup? soup yeah. And breads, yeah. We're still fully open. We're doing ski lessons. We've still got uh, snowshoe tours. Snowshoeing's fantastic up by the uh, Albany Brook area. It, it, like I say, it's opening up, so you get yeah. the ambiance of the water sound and everything. It, it's just beautiful out there now. And it's amazing what the base depths are like right now. Even in my own yard in Conway, I'm bringing out the dog and trying to untangle her from a tree or something like that. Yeah. She got her leash wrapped around. And all of a sudden, I find myself up to my waist in snow. I'm it's just post holing. There's like four different snow layers yeah. in, in the snow that have accumulated over the winter. Oh yeah, it, it's an amazing base that we have in there now, and it's not any more champagne powder. This is very, very dense base. Yep. So it's going to turn into that proverbial corn snow, which mm -hmm. everybody loves. The corn snow. You know, it's just like I say, if people haven't gotten out because the winters haven't been all that special and enjoyed a good spring ski, they got to get out there and do it this year. Right. It, it's not going to get much better. Used gear sale, new and used gear at great prices on sale now. What kind of gear do you have? Like, what, what kind of brands do you carry? Uh, we do rosin, well, some atomic, but uh, predominantly what we would have mostly is a, a waxless ski. I yep. have and some skate ski equipment. I have some waxables, but predominantly what they'd be looking for is a high quality waxless ski. Yep. And uh, and our boot f f selection's excellent. We got a lot of X sixes that it, people love that combi boot. So oh, nice. It, it was kind of a first come first surf basis. You know, the quicker they get there, the better the selection's going to be. Obviously. Yep. But uh, we'll be selling, and you can still try before you buy. That's mm. important. I, it's people actually just don't try it in the shop and they take it home. And then yeah. next year they find out, geez, this didn't fit me as good as I thought it would. Uh, it's nice to get out there, try it out for an hour or two, give it a test. Yep. Spring's a great time to you give know, it a I test. You know, I might have to come visit you because you say, you know, your, some of your gear is used, gently used. Well, it's still probably 15 times newer than the skis I'm skiing on oh, now, yeah. so I would probably notice a, a huge A lot of our difference. equipment's been out 10, or 10 times, maybe 15, wow. is a, you know, because we rotate it so quickly. If we get rid of our equipment every other year, basically, we, it's nice to rotate your stock. That way your rental people get fresh boots, fresh skis, and people that purchase them get fresh boots, fresh skis. So. It's a good, it's a good policy. Fantastic. So you'll be open for 
another couple of weeks at least. If yep. people want uh, to check in and make sure you guys are, are still going throughout yep. the spring, should they give you a call? Uh, do the website. Uh, I, they can also call us up, yes, at, at, at our phone number, but on the website, www.bearnotskitouring.com, we put our daily conditions there, and uh, there will be other information like our phone numbers and things like that. Uh, that's fantastic. And if you haven't been to Bear Notch again, just west of Atitash, yep. uh, you're grooming what? That's his 54 kilometers yep. right now? We are still on the whole network, and some of the skiing is better than it was in the middle of the winter. I, at Trail 41, we just opened up a real crowd pleaser for the intermediate skiers, and Yates Farm has been skiing fantastic this year, and it is still will for a while longer. Yeah, it'll, it'll bring you back. When you go to Bear Notch and you go into their, their base lodge, it is authentic, it's homey, it's rustic, yes. and you go out on the trails, and within minutes you're seeing waterfalls with crystal clear cascading water yep. and the beautiful upper Saco River. Yep. Uh, it's cross country skiing the way it should be. If you go, and, and Doug, um, I, I hope you don't take offense to this, Doug's not you know, too big into uh, the internet and, no. <laughs> and, 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 and technology. Doug likes groomed trails and hot soup and, yep. and things of that nature. And so when I told him a little while back, I said, you know, I, I went on Yelp and was amazed at all the, the five-star reviews that you were getting. He's yeah. like, what's Yelp? I had, <laughs> had no idea what I was talking about. So you're so, talking about the dogs. So it's not, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's, not, uh, it's not seated. This is not Bear Notch employees going on to Yelp and writing their own no, reviews. we don't know how to. These are, these are people who come to Bear Notch from all over the place, discover it, and feel like they've made their own personal discovery and claim this place for themselves. And uh, it's, it's made a Bear Notch believer out of a many. So. That's what we look for. If you get them to the doorstep, we try to get that Bear Notch believer to come back. And so to come full circle, what we were talking about at the beginning of the interview, yes, Doug, I will be coming for some spring skiing. That's good. You've it, got the right spring to do it. In the next couple of weeks. Anything else we missed, Doug? No, you know, it's, it's no, other than our homey, perfect place, the best place to go skiing. I mean, we, we can't hit it all in one interview. But yeah. <laughs> no. Now, and we didn't coordinate this morning, right, on our sweaters? No, but we did pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's a gray sweater type of morning. All right, well, get out there. You probably have uh, some grooming to do or something to no, do. No, the grooming's all the done. John got that. I think he said it came out great. It's a little softer than we expected because yep. it didn't get that cold last night. But he was he was just getting back from grooming when I came down this way. So it's all ready for everybody. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Okay. Doug Garland from Bear Notch Ski Touring. If you want to give them a call, 374 2277. 2277. Bear Notch Ski Touring dot com. And we'll be back with an update on ski conditions, weather, some more watch and win, and also the MWV Science Fair will be in the studio very soon. Outdoor winter adventures await you at the Jackson Ski Tour.